looking peachy. <laughs> what is good people? Today we are starting the summer shred. So this is my physique here. This is a post three holidays abroad, two weddings and a funeral. So needless to say, my mindset was all over the place and I was also eating a lot of calories, not really, you know, training that much. That's kind of the physique you're going to be seeing on screen. But we are trying to get back down trim. Currently, your boy's sitting at around 178 pounds. All right, people. So this is, I guess, week zip. Well, week one, actually. I'm one week in. And this is what we're looking like now, anyway. So we've got a bit of body fat to shift over the weeks. You know what I mean? It's going to be interesting. Just kind of getting back into it. Uh, quick update for the legs, I guess. So that's what our legs is looking like. Overall, ah, I'll do these probably once a week. I'll do a quick little update just so I can kind of see where I'm looking at, keep myself accountable. If you've watched this video on screen, you would know that kind of a lot of things have been going on in real life. Our mind state wasn't the best. So basically, I haven't been 100% on the fitness. I've still been going, but just not being that motivated to train. But in that video, I mentioned one of the key things you need is some form of goal. And I realized I didn't have a goal. I was kind of just floundering. So I decided to set myself a goal, and that was just get back down to my leaner self. Whereas right now, I'm sitting around 11 pounds higher than that, 11, 12 pounds higher. But as for this series, I thought I'd do like a weekly or every other week update you guys with what I've actually done and then obviously do a physique update so you can kind of compare. So if you see like a good jump, you can kind of know what I've done because you can just watch through the videos. All right, folks, we're on the way to the gym. Uh, we're going to the gym, not in Poirier, my normal local gym, just because obviously Karine's coming with me. So I'm trying to get her back into it to get past this gym anxiety. So about a month ago, because it's been months really since she's been going to the gym, I made her come with me, not to work out, just to get in the building because this gym anxiety was not going away and she wasn't defeating it by herself. So I made her come to the gym with me. She was super vexed. She didn't speak to me the whole time, but the main thing was to get her in the building. So I said, you can do whatever you want. I said, you can either sit in the corner for the 40, 40 45 you minutes. You did not give me I that did. option. You may not have heard you me because you were vexed. I did. You may have been vexed at me so you didn't listen, but I said, come and walk on the treadmill or you can, you can sit in the corner for the whole time if I care, but the whole thing is you need to get in that building, is what I said. But it's not like you hate the gym, you just feel anxiety. So the only way to beat is to be in the environment. You know what I mean? So <laughs> just to check, when I made you go to the gym, did you wish you just never went still? <laughs> it was fine. Well, how was the gym anxiety when you got there, though? He was next to me, so I was kind of fine at that. It was just... My gym is, I don't know what it is. I just feel like people are going to stare at me. <sighs> when I work out, I make sure to bring my protein. I'm joking. Um, the one thing I will say about like not being as focused on training that the one thing I definitely still had in my mind though, my, probably my one and a half goal was that I wanted to bring up my lats because in doing that it helps give the illusion of a smaller waist in the overall mistakes. I feel like my lats have very high insertions but I've been trying my best to try and make them as wide as possible. So that's the one thing I would like to see that when I cut down and lose the body fat, do I see any improvements in that area? <clears throat> so that's why I do my lat pull down sometimes more lean forwards and try and bring those elbows to my waist to focus more on my lats. And I also use a hook grip as well, so I put my thumbs on the front. How do you feel? Look at you, you enjoyed it deep down. Nah, you enjoyed it. Look at your face, you're like, oh, I'm back, bitches. I see it. That was a bit light. That was a bit light. See, easy thing, innit? Boom. Hey, if you are a super lat focused guy like me, trying to bring them up, something you can do, and I'd personally invest in because after the gyms lose them, is purchase your own wraps. Wraps, what are you call it again? Uh, handles. So basically, you can get these on Amazon. I think these cost me like 15 pounds, but it's so worth it because you ain't got to worry about finding them and stuff because people either lose them, use them, this one you can use for yourself. So basically the benefit of handles in this situation when you do that pull down, because it keeps your elbows close to your waist. The more you can keep your elbows close to your waist in nearly any row exercise, you're gonna focus more on your lats than your upper back. So boom, straight away, boom, elbows are here. If I wanted to, I could even bring the handles closer together and try and stay somewhat upright. Kill it, oh, looking peachy. Are oh, you bringing the games out? All right. I see you. I see you starting them. Bolt games.
All right, so let's do some dumbbell shoulder press, which I never ever do. Oh, okay. All right, folks, we're gonna do some hanging knee raises. It's been a minute. Oh shit. All right, people, we actually ended on cardio. And I'll be honest as to why. Kareem made some cakes today. <laughs> I polished off all of them. They're big slices of chocolate concrete. If you don't know what they are, Google them. Or, but yeah, man, I destroyed them. So I thought, you know what? I need to do a little cardio. I played about 15 minutes. Highest incline, what I always choose. I'll go into my treadmill settings in another video because people always ask me about that. But yeah, man, oh, I'm happy to get this done. As for you, though, how do you actually feel with the gym? Do you actually feel decent that you came? Or what? Or is the gym anxiety still there? No, I feel better that I came. Do you think you could probably come by yourself though? Or you still have the gym anxiety? I think I can come by myself if the gym's like this. As in, it's super empty, no one here. I can do that. But if it's busy, you think you can't? That's really overwhelming. Too many things, if I don't know what I'm doing already. Even if I have a plan set, like you set me a few plans already. Even if I have that set, sorry, if you come to the gym and it's all packed, it still puts me in a overwhelmed and like state. I don't like that. Alright, fair enough. Well, you made the first step of coming, which is a good thing, so congrats. Huh? I didn't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're winning. Anyways, peace. I'm going to go home. I'm going to enjoy one of my last Wagyu steaks. I'm going to try and cut them down because man's been a steak fiend. <laughs> Anyways, people, back to the other TJ of the past or future. As of week one, the main things I implemented was making sure to go to the gym at least three to four times per week. I think I managed four times minimum this week. I think today will be the fifth day, which is good. Other than that, there were some days I just weren't really leaving the house. So I've tried to combat that. On average, my goal for my daily steps every single day is at least 8,000 steps. So that really is about 40, 45 minute walk outside or going on my treadmill in the house. But currently I've just been walking outside. I haven't used my, um, my indoor treadmill. And now when it comes to the nutrition, if I'm being honest, my diet hasn't been terrible. I've still been eating similar foods to what I do when I'm lean. I'll just say the volume of it's been more. Right, so at the moment, it's one of the common meals I've been having. It's typically I'd have four baked medallions and I'd have two whole eggs. Um, I don't plan on tracking calories from day one just because I'm not trying to be super, super drop fat as soon as possible. I'm literally just gradually showing you guys how to do a sustainable fat loss back to your normal physique. I'm not trying to do like some super harsh calorie deficit. Man, I just want to show you how a moderate approach will get there. And also, I have not set myself a timeline. I have purposely done that because when I set myself a timeline, I feel like I end up, I sacrifice some smart habits to try and reach that timeline. So I'm literally, this series could be nine weeks, it could be 16 weeks, who knows? I'm just gonna gradually grind myself back down by doing natural habits and using this series as a way to keep myself accountable so I don't just slack off and just prolong it and make it like 25 weeks. In regards to the actual training split now, um, my normal training split is a push, pull, legs repeated, um, but obviously I haven't been training six days a week. But what I've more or less still been doing is doing kind of like a, I still kind of push, pull legs, but just kind of in a fluid cycle. So if I don't manage to get all six days, Days in the week, I'll just continue it. So I'm probably push pull legs, whenever the next day is, I'll be push again. And whether it's two days space or one day space, I'll go back to the gym and do the, the next following day it should be. Um, I wouldn't say this is the most optimal, but I really do love the push pull split. There is two approaches I could go with my training routine in the future. For example, this is the physique that you're gonna see on screen now, which is when I was um, doing six days a week and I do around 300 to 400 calories burn at the end of nearly every single gym session. And this is the physique when I was actually only training the gym four days doing weights, but I made sure to do my cardio every single day. So on the days I didn't train, I would do at least 40 minutes. And on the days I did train, I'd do like 20 minutes in the morning every single day. So I was getting my steps up pretty well. I wasn't doing no mad cardio, like running and stuff. It was just incline walking as well. I feel like it, it still got me fairly lean. So I'm decide, I'll am decide. i decide which approach I want to take uh, during this time. Maybe I'll go back to the old school way or maybe I'll stick to the incline walk. As of week one, I feel like that's a perfect way to start any sort of cutting series, especially when you've been off the gym. If you've been like in a very serious bulk and you've been on it the whole time, then I'd say be a little bit more strict from day one. Um, but the fact that I'm just kind of getting back into it, I still believe that making these adjustments in the space of one week from at 178 pounds roughly now, I would expect to still lose a couple pounds just because I'll be reining things in gradually, walking a bit more, and you'd be surprised how much impact that makes. So I think 
I'll probably drop down to like 156-ish pounds for the first week and then after time it will kind of slow down a bit and that's when I'll have to like add in actual proper cardio and doing all sorts but this is my honest starting point and this is also what I'm going to be doing feel free to join along with me if you're someone that's slightly you know overweight or just in general you want to go on a little bit of a cutting series feel free to turn your notifications on join the series hit the bell so you actually know when the videos are coming and we'll go through this week by week and if you have any questions in regard to your own experience when it comes to cutting just drop them down below if you, or in regards to what I'm currently doing feel free to let me know down below and I'll answer your questions because that's what I'm here for to actually help you guys hopefully live a fitter and more sustainable lifestyle Anyways, people, it's been a mad long video. I just wanted to show you guys episode one. Uh, the next videos are probably more of a vlog style than this one, but this is just kind of laying down the foundation. But overall, I'm just happy to kind of have myself a goal. Maybe this will push me a little bit more, get the feeling back. I do already feel like the last week of training has made me feel a little bit more pumped again. I felt like I was feeling a lot more flat. So hopefully, over the coming weeks, I'll get my defin definition will slowly creep back in. But most of all, hopefully, the mindset will improve tenfold, get me back on that grind. And yeah, but anyways, people, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Stay game, game.